What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy B Hot Radio. Shout in as always. I got my podcast partner off in this thing, the original hot boy himself. Yeah. Turk, what up, though? Wow. What it do? What it is? Man, feeling good, feeling great, man. We got a friend yeah. and family member stepping yeah. off in the building today, you man. Did. Louisiana's own Lil Soldier Slim. What's good with it, boss? Man, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Yep. yep. I mean, first <laughs> of all, Soldier, it's just good to have you back off in this thing, Fact. man. I see you dropping videos left and right, new music on deck. I mean, what's really the move out here, sir? I'm just still grinding. Yeah, yeah. I'm still pushing the legacy for real, you know That's what I'm right. saying? That's right. Yeah, I'm just keeping the legacy going. What was it like pushing the legacy over that 50-year hip-hop time when folks was getting real nostalgic out here in these streets, man? Man, I was trying to do a lot. Yeah. And I really got myself caught up, so I ain't get to do as much as I mm. wanted to do, you feel me? Yeah. Trying to do too much, yeah, you yeah. feel me? But it was like, honestly... <clears throat> I just like the love that I can see that he get for real. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of artists, OG artists, like, you know, a lot of niggas, even like Mr. Magic, them, them niggas don't get their flowers like how yeah. I feel like they should, but they pay him his, you know, that he get what he, uh, exactly. so, so So how you feel like, you know, some people come from having to hold that, 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 that crown of somebody that is great as your dad, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you feel like you fall behind and to not hold his, Legacy down, you know what I'm saying? Being you being a rapper, do you think you hold it down like you're supposed to? I feel like I do it. At this point, I really do a damn good job than I used to because when I was younger, I really was on some selfish shit. Yeah. Mm. You feel me? I really, like, I started out to carry it, but then, like, nigga was going through a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? A lot of personal shit, family shit, and it kind of, like, pushed me away from trying to, like, like, I was really just, like, man, I'm just focus on doing my own shit, just building my own self, finding out who I am for real. Yeah. Yeah, you know so so you ain't so so. Have you ever got mad that everybody was seeing you just as Magnolia Slim or Soldier Slim Son and not seeing you for your talent? Yeah, that's that what it was. And I was like, fuck that. I'm gonna just do what I. You know what I'm saying, run my own bag up because I ain't getting nothing from it. I'm just, you know, I'm I'm holding it down, I'm standing on business. But yeah, really. I wasn't getting nothing from it because I ain't know I ain't had nobody to put me on game or what I was supposed to be getting and how I was supposed to be getting it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that was the main thing. Like, and really just being stubborn, just being a, a New Orleans nigga, you know what I'm saying? It threw me off my bag. Like I could have been organized and put together, you yeah. feel me? But fuck, I was doing my own thing. Peaches was doing her own thing, you know what I'm saying? But that's what I grandma that's what my grandma pushed us to do. Like, yeah. Just yeah. do your own thing. Like let them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But really, no, it shouldn't have been that. I really shouldn't have been a rapper at all. Mm. I really should have just been an estate manager fresh out of college for real. I'm telling you, they would have had a bag for Oh, uh, you real. went to college? Yeah, I went to Jackson State. Oh, that's hard. That's yeah. hard. It ain't never too late, bro. It ain't never too late to still, you know. To be honest. Do what you want to do on that part. Nah, you snap with that right there if you would have went to the estate route. Right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I ain't had nobody put me on game. Don't nobody be knowing until somebody yeah. tell them it's the same thing, man. It's across the board. I mean... Coming out of New Orleans with it, though, man. Is it difficult to get your music bubbling in the hometown? Yeah, it is. And what makes it but so much like, more difficult? All right, so for me, it was from the jump, like, we had when I came in again, like, when I really was just coming in, we had New Orleans Hip Hop Awards. Yeah. You feel me? And that played a major part in the era of music that I came into the game at in my city. Mm. You feel me? Crack Tracks put it together low. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he ended well, up, I love. eventually ended up letting it go. You know what I'm saying? He was yeah. standing in New York. He was coming back doing it. Yeah. But I really got the DJs like, you know what I'm saying? Like just who we is based on like in the city as a family. Yeah. The DJs, you know, the DJs is family. Like it's, so I been had the DJs like it's not for me to get somebody to spend as long as I got the budget to afford it. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference between me and everybody else. Like, yeah. But for the next nigga, it's probably 10 times harder because they family not a, a known family yeah. from uptown. You feel me? Yeah. And I ain't grew up with these DJs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody don't know they grandma. Yeah. But So have you ever felt like, man, my daddy is Magnolia mm -hmm. Slim, man. You know what I'm saying? Anything I ask any one of you niggas for, man, y'all got to do it because, cause, um, you know, y'all know how my daddy put it down. Have you ever felt that in, that sense of entitlement? Like I ain't hang? never, I never <laughs> felt that, right? That was a good one. I never felt that. But being who I am and growing up under the people who I grew up under, you know these same niggas. Like they really tried to put that into me. Yeah. But I still didn't never fall off in it. But I can say this: if a nigga said they was gonna do something and I ain't do it, 
you gotta stand on that. I'm holding you to that. You should never told me you was gonna yeah. do it. Yeah. Facts. Period. Cause I ain't asking nobody for nothing. Facts. I ain't coming to you. I ain't begging. I don't got my hand out. I never been that type of person. So really, we talking about something, it could be the simplest thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Real talk. Like I, I done bro, I had it out like with some of my favorite people for real. Like Damn. you ain't standing on business and I ain't yeah, I'm gonna call you out on it. Yeah, nigga don't owe no nigga no lie, man. You get a lot of lies. In this industry, you know what I'm saying. So working with your auntie, um, Peaches, what up? That's my little cousin. What actually, up, though, Peaches? You know what I'm yeah. It's a small world, man. You know what I'm saying. But um, how is it like being in the studio with your auntie? Because I know how being in the studio with females can be, man. But this family and she's a female rapper. Man, we came in doing it together. Like this, the first person who I really was just in the studio with. Yeah. So it's, you know, like really. She really like my sister for real. You know what I'm saying? Cause we we close in age. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we closer than me and her closer than her. And my daddy was in age. Uh. You feel me? So we close in age. Only thing be throwing me off is the niggas. I know my auntie look good. I know she beautiful. Like yeah. right, you know what I'm saying? Like but niggas be thirsty. Like you feel me? So it be kind of like you be that's trying, what, to, trying to. I protect. don't block. I can't. This my. It's not my little sister. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's not my. Younger auntie, like I ain't, you know, I'm protecting her, but I ain't protecting exactly. her. Like this is my auntie, you feel yeah. me? So I can't, fuck, I can't jump in front of nothing for you. you but at the same time, it's like, Cock you know, it, man, I'm stopping yeah. that shit, man. Call it what it is, man. Ain't nothing happening. No, okay, look, man, man, my auntie, we think similarly. You feel me? Yeah. Like we 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 do shit, like you know what I'm saying. So. Fuck, I don't how I'ma shut some shit down and she probably wanted to go with that move. <laughs> yeah. Feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. I ain't hating on no nigga the same cause really it. It, it ain't even me hating on the niggas, it's me hating on her at this yeah. point. Yeah. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 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 the the, the recording process with you and her like is 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 chemistry, like y'all. It's sweet. It, it it always been that though, since the beginning. Like, you know I even before I was just rapping like that, like she was in the studio doing her thing. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to average concert with her, like we don't hang as much we don't be together as much you know what i'm saying like i don't know bro once i start having kids like then they was coming back to back like shit was just left and right like, nah, nigga, you like, was coming back to back man i had yeah. three kids back to back fast like yeah yeah and i, I really i was in cali i'm in oregon was like you know what i'm saying so yeah. it's like i was scrambling so much and i really just focused on getting money because we ain't never had no money you yeah. feel me so yeah. That like that always been my only goal, my main goal. Like, man, I gotta get this money however I can by any means. Hey, you always kept it real, bro. Like, you know how they have some rappers come out and be like, man, I got this money. I got I'm, I'm balling. I'm 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 on. But every time I see you, you always stress the fact, nigga, I don't got it. I'm hustling. I'm hustling. I'm Why grinding. are we hustling? I'm traveling. Yeah, I'm doing real. this, I'm doing that. And you know what I'm saying? That that take a lot of humility, bro. You know what I'm saying? Where you think you get that mindset from, like just being able to be all the way real, like, man, look, I don't got it, nigga. I'm grinding. You gotta think about it like honestly. Like, I had men in my life, but I, I didn't have no dad. My dad got killed when I was eight years old, you feel yeah. me? So I ain't have no dad. Like, really, like, a man don't start being a father to his son until your son, like, eight, nine, ten years yeah. old, you feel me? So a lot of shit that I learned, like, my grandpa, like, my daddy, daddy, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, real talk, like, he from eight, probably till he died when I was, like, 12. Like, he Damn. really put a lot into me. Yeah. Like, he put a lot into me, and then, like, my mama daddy, like, he was a real nigga, but he, he was a he was a contractor, but yeah. he smoked crack, you feel yeah. me? But he was a real nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? So like I got to see it all the way around. Like, my mama daddy was on it, and my grandpa, like my daddy, dad, that nigga he was a hustler, like, yeah. he was go getter, like, this nigga had an oxygen tank. And really I used to see him on the oxygen tank, he's still hustling. Yeah. You yeah. feel me? Like putting it together, like this is all he tell me, like, this is all we got. Yeah. yeah. This is all I got. Like I'm gonna do whatever I can to make it happen for all of us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And thanks. then he died, you feel me? And I got uncles and shit. They real niggas, you know what I'm saying? But they might not everybody don't have a hustle. But I just always remember like my grandpa, if he was here, he'd tell you, like, ever since I was 19 years old, when he first told me about hustling, yeah, picking up cans. Yeah. Feel me? Like, whatever I could do to make some money, exactly. wash a car, whatever, like, I gotta keep some bread in my pocket and I just been like this my whole life. I'm with you, on that. you, know what I'm you were speaking earlier about the estate, man. I mean, how did your eyes open to the estate and then what went through your mind when you realized, wait a minute, I could be printing money through this dog on the estate? My daddy was snapping so damn hard that he left behind something for us to work with. When more opportunities start coming about, my grandma. I was moving around a lot more, and yeah. I was forming my own connections. 
Mm. So she had more belief in me. She believed in me uh, a little more. Like trust it wasn't like in the beginning she was shut us down. Like you yeah. don't know what you're doing. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But like nah, she see like nah, my grandson like he only 22, 23 years old. And yeah. Like I'm saying to me on the internet, he on boats, he yeah. riding these fast for him. Yeah. I'm riding Ferrari, Come on. but I'm turning like I'm living in, I'm in Cali, like yeah. I ain't living here, but this is my second home. Like I got a house out here, exactly. I'm just going crazy. Yeah, and she's seeing the people that I'm on pictures with, mm. and these them niggas, like you know what I'm saying? I mean people who them people, and they really like, dog. I respect your mindset. Yeah, like you young, but you getting to it. Like you ain't like the rest of these young niggas out here. You feel exactly. me? You don't got your hand out, and. She's one. The more questions she start asking, and my auntie right there with her. Mm-hmm. So my auntie really like, you know, they she in her ear for real. Like yeah. I ain't by this time I'm, I'm gone. You feel exactly. me? I branched out like. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. so she calling me, telling me like anything that come about, she you know we just communicate. So it really was like just me and her head together. Yeah. Cause we really wanted it more than anything. Like that's a lot of like we said a lot of people and we knowing y'all getting money out this shit. We like man, that's, we ain't got nothing like. My grandma working in the cafeteria, nigga, yeah. like, for real, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My grandma got a house because, like, he hustled to get this house paid for through music, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, but we hurting out this. So having, having an attorney, right, is, 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 is advice that I, you know, can give you because it'll be money and it'll be things out there that you like, damn, that's sitting that nobody can touch but the estate. Uh, the, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, did y'all go about it that way? Far as trying to now, track I'm on, down I'm on, I'm on negotiation with, with my third attorney. Okay. Damn. Tell you why? Because a lot of people be tied into other doors that they don't be willing to, they don't be willing to risk for you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm with you. Because yeah. I ain't, well, I'm trying to pull, I'm trying to pull everything down. I don't, get, I don't care about none of this. And we ain't had it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Real talk, I'm coming in there like your boy Wakanda. You feel me? Real, like, yeah. I, I, I own a piece of that. I deserve a piece of this mind. You Yo, feel me? Exactly. Real talk, like. But my turn is gonna get it right though. I, I learned to like do it on a more humble way, like, you know what I'm saying? And like my first attorney, we got into a bag because he was basically telling me he didn't wanna file a suit that I wanted him to file. Mm. Yeah, and I'm like, bro, you work for me, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He like, nah, it's a conflict of interest for me. Damn. Bro, I don't care about that. See, that and that's and that's another thing. You have to like not just be on the 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 feelings of it. Like when you asking these attorneys, cause I dealt with them, you know what I'm saying? And I had to know what I was talking about. And when they come to me and they like, nah, this, 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 that, I'm coming back with law. Like, nah, this case law is da da da. So you know that's what, what I was on. And that's how you what I was on. Like a lot of, like a lot of like the, the attorney I'm talking about, like, he was trying to tell me like, man, time done passed, like it's no statute of limitation. limitation. Yeah. No, you know what the statute of limitation on music is? Ninety nine years. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I screenshot and sent it to him. Poop. He didn't take me back. Yeah, <laughs> real talk. And then I, at the time, I was standing out here. This nigga was in Dallas. Uh, I go to Dallas, pulling up. Yeah, you feel me? Like, cause I don't. Yeah, I don't got time for that. 